Hey there, Fizz fans. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bubble Crossed. I hope you've been well in the meantime. Today I have for you a review of a blood orange soda. This is another one from HEB. And it's another of their organic Italian sodas, to be precise, the Central Market brand. Let me put this up here so you can get a nice gander at it. Now, as mentioned before, I'm pretty sure this is a house brand of HEB, so um, I think this is the only place you can get it, at least under this label. Um, I did put it in the freezer for a nice icy finish, and I can see I've got some ice crystals in here. Um, but I did want to mention that uh, before I put it in the freezer, I did have to agitate it a bit because there was a little bit of sen sediment in it, um, unlike most of the other, well, all of the other sodas that I've reviewed for you so far. Um, it, uh, it's another one that I purchased with my own money, and it's another one that comes in these really tall one liter bottles that I don't really have room for standing up in my fridge. I always have to lay them down. Um, as far as I know, it only comes in this plastic bottle. And let me give you the ingredients. Carbonated water, organic blood orange juice from concentrate, organic sugar, citric acid, natural blood orange flavor, organic black carrot carrot juice from concentrate for color. Um, and yes, it is, a, like the last one, it is a product of Italy, so it is truly Italian soda. Now, let me tell you before I crack this open and start the actual review review. Oh yeah, calories are 120 for 8 ounces. Um, this is, what was I going to say? Brain fart. <laughs> um, oh yeah, before I crack it open, uh, my only other experience with a blood orange soda is Italian, and it is San Pellegrino's Aranciata Rossa. Um, I'm not positive I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's how I read the label when I read it in my head. Um, and uh, that is a very, very good soda. But I'll tell you, it's amazingly sweet to me. It seems like they add a lot of extra sugar. I, I've never actually checked the sugar count, like the grams count. It seems like they add a lot of extra sugar to make sure that it is sweet enough for the American palate. But I don't know. Maybe it's the same way, you know, when they distribute in, in uh, Italy. And I'm looking here. Mm -hmm. This one has 28 grams of sugar, so... Not really that far off from any other soda. Okay, so, um, we've gone over the packaging factor. Let's crack it open and see what she smells like. Mm, I can smell it already before the cap even comes off. Mm. Oh my word. Mm. That smells wonderful. It's orangey, but it's got a blood orange. I don't, I've never actually had uh, an actual physical blood orange in my hand. I've never actually tasted a fresh blood orange. I don't know if they grow them in Florida. I grew up in Florida, but I do not remember ever seeing them. Mm. It's orangey, but it's got this really sweet overtone that's just amazing. Mm. Let's go ahead and give it a pour. And, oops, oh, nose itch. <clears throat> You know, I may be incorrect. That may not be ice crystals. That may be... No, it's ice crystals. They're floating. I was going to say, it may be pulp. Alright, y'all are probably going to think this is gross, but hey, it's my soda. I'm going to stick my finger in here and see. Yeah, those are ice crystals. Okay, so anyway, this is what she looks like. Don't mind the uh, layer of ice crystals on the top. <laughs> mm. Mmm, yep, smells good in the glass, too. Mmm, so yummy. Mm, okay. Mm. Now, I mentioned the sediment, but don't know if you noticed when I put it up there to the camera. Um, 
it is also very definitely a uh, cloudy soda, even without the sediment. It's not overly bub bubbly. It's definitely definitely carbonated, but I'd say mild to moderate carbonation at most. There's enough to help it get out, get down into the papillae on your tongue, but not much more. The bubbles are fairly fine. Something I've determined as I've experimented more and more with making sodas as well as drinking other sodas is that when you add a biological or botanical, I guess would be a better word. Not well, biological, because the same thing happens with dairy. But um when you add a botanical element like a tea or juice, it automatically makes the bubbles finer. I don't know how or why. Um, I don't know if it's something about the proteins or what, but it almost always makes the bubbles finer, and this is not much of an exception. I mean, the bubbles aren't overbearing, but what bubbles are there are quite fine. Um, as far as mouthfeel goes, sorry, I've got a cold sensitive tooth. That's why you saw me wince. It's not because the soda's bad. Um, <laughs> it's lighter than a juice. Absolutely way lighter than an orange juice. Um, but it's still heavier and, and a little more syrupy than your average soda. The sweetness is wonderful. 100% natural. Very obviously natural. Um, and quite sweet, actually. Sweeter than the peach bellini that I reviewed a little while back. Um, and probably almost every bit as sweet as the San Pellegrino, to which I'm more used to. To which I'm more used? Which I'm more used to? Whatever. Um, flavor-wise... <clears throat> That, again, is 100% natural. And um, as far as being true to labeling, yeah, I mean, like I said, I've, I've never tasted an actual blood orange, but I've had another blood orange soda, and this is very, very similar. Um, I didn't think to do the math before starting to uh, record this. I don't know if this... I don't even remember how much this cost. I want to say two eighty nine, but don't quote me on that. Um, what's more interesting is I, I was thinking of whether or not this was more or less expensive than the San Pellegrino blood orange soda. Um, because if it is, it would be an excellent substitute. Um, they don't taste the same, but they taste similar enough, and they're both, you know, they both have the same blood orange note that is so satisfying that I'm sure you'd be happy with either of them. If you like one, you'd like the other. Um, and they're, you know, saying that if you've tried the San Pellegrino and you can get your hands on this, then by all means give this a shot too, because um, you're going to like it, almost guaranteed. Well, assuming you like the San Pellegrino. Now, as far as my opinion, um, I really like it. Uh, it is... Very sweet, yes, but it also has a plentiful acidity, gives it plenty of tartness, plenty of bite, plenty of uh, character, if you will, um, so that, you know, even though it's, it's very sweet, it's not cloying, would be a good way of putting it, because a, a lot of really sweet sodas are very, <laughs> you just, you can get tired of them real quick, because they're so or be cloying, but, but this, the, you're not going to get that with this because it's got plenty of tartness to balance it out. As far as pairings go, gosh, this is another one that I'm going to say can go with just about anything. 
it might even be overwhelming for, say, fish, you know, something mild tasting like fish, but it's going to stand up to your chicken, your burgers, your steak, your pork. It's got enough body to, <laughs> to, uh, to stand up to anything, um, including citrus sauces. Like a lot of times, especially with seltzers, I'll tell you, you know, don't pair it with like because it'll the like will overwhelm the, the flavoring. Not this bad boy. Go ahead and put it with your orange chicken, your duck à l'orange, whatever. <laughs> this can stand up to it, I'll tell you. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my review of HEB's Central Market Organic Italian Soda Blood Orange Flavor. Yummo. Good stuff. Get your hands on some if you can. Um, that's all for this review. Uh, as always, I appreciate it if you like my videos, because that helps me out a ton. And if you do like my videos, if you subscribe, that also helps. And commenting. I absolutely adore interacting with my viewers. And, uh, you know, if you really, really, really like me, then go to my Patreon page and support me. Cool bees, huh? All right. Um, I thank you for watching, and I hope you've learned something, and I hope you have a great day. Stay fizzy.